Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we're going to be talking about another theory in Stranger Things, believe it or not. I've made like 100 theories, literally probably 100 theories about Stranger Things Season 5, and I made a few about Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2, but this one is honestly very realistic, and it's one that when I seen it, I was like, okay, this is probably, you know, one that I could make right now because it's not that far-fetched, and people would actually probably enjoy the theory uh, because it's, it's, you know, really realistic. But before I get into it, guys, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Let's go for 150 likes on the video. And if you are, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so because we're going for 60,000 subscribers. And over 80% of you guys who, uh, watch my videos are not subscribed. So it'd be much appreciated if you would hit that sub button now. Uh, it also, you can join my Discord down below. Brand new Discord. Join it. It's awesome. We talk theories every single day in other TV shows. So go join that. That's all I got to say for the promotion now. About the theory of the, this theory. I haven't even said what the theory is. But basically the theory is, is that Mind Flayer is the real villain in Stranger Things. Not Vecna. Vecna is a villain, don't get me wrong. But my, the Mind Flayer controls Vecna and always has from the very beginning. That's what this theory stems from. Um, so basically the thought is that whenever Vecna got sent into the Upside Down. Or yeah, whenever one, I should say. Whenever one slash Henry got sent into the Upside Down. He got struck with red lightning, okay? He got struck with red lightning and was basically just turned into Vecna, right? Well, if you remember in season four, I don't know which episode it was. I think it was episode six, to be honest with you. Uh, but Dustin said um, the Mind Flayer made Vecna his five-star general. Who do we know that wants to take over the world? The Mind Flayer. So if the Demogorgon was just his foot soldier, Vecna's his five-star general. He didn't say that. He didn't say Vecna made the made the Mind Flayer his five-star general. The Mind Flayer made Vecna his five-star general. So I feel like that could have been a hint there that the Mind Flayer is actually in control of everything, and Vecna is not actually in control of the Mind Flayer. And the reason this theory is more realistic than it already sounds is because in D&D, Vecna isn't actually the ultimate villain. The ultimate villain is named Boris. And Boris is this red dragon, uh, you know, that we've seen Will paint, by the way. Uh, it's this red dragon that can create le electricity, and it can also create illusions of itself and make itself disappear. So the theory is, is that uh, Boris, or the Mind Flayer, just made an illusion of itself, aka what we see on the screen right here, of just a big cloud of dust, and we never seen like its actual real form. And its its true form is going to be the three-headed dragon that Will drew, and that's the ultimate villain of the show, and that's what's controlling Vecna this entire time. And this would also explain whenever Eleven was about to defeat Vecna, he said that you already lost because Vecna isn't the ultimate villain, the mind player is. And honestly, after after reading up more on this theory and you know thinking about it more it makes a lot of sense you know what i'm saying because the mind flayer was the first original villain Vecna didn't even come into the equation until um season four so it makes sense for the mind flayer to be just be behind all this and that, that would kind of be like a little plot twist um because i think we all thought that the mind flayer was just created by vecna because when he went to the upside down it was just showing him like looking up at the mind flayer or whatever but in reality, the Mind Flayer was looking down at Vecna and created everything around him. I don't think Vecna created that whole entire universe. I think in this scenario, the Mind Flayer created that whole entire universe, or the Upside Down, and is controlling Vecna and making him do everything that he's doing. Um, but that's just a theory. We never know. Uh, but it does make sense, like, with the lightning and everything, the red lightning, the red clouds, and Vecna getting struck by lightning, that could have been the Mind Flayer doing all that. And the Mind Flayer could be the ultimate villain of the show. And it, I think it, it does add up a lot and it does make a lot of sense. And the Mind Flayer does have similar traits to Boris, who is the ultimate villain in D&D. So, you know, and it, it could, like I said, Boris can make illusions of, of itself in D&D. &D, so maybe the Mind Flayer made an illusions of itself to make us think it's just a ball of dust. But in reality, it's a three-headed dragon that Will drew. And that's what it's going to be coming. And that actually makes even more sense now because... Will knows what the Mind Flayer thinks, knows what it you know, sees or whatever, whatever you know, his connection is with the Upside Down, so he knows what it looks like. Maybe he just naturally drew the dragon because that's just what he thought of in his head because he still has connection with the, with the Mind Flayer. Now that I'm here in Hawkins, I can feel him. This is actually insane. So Will, if, if the Mind Flayer is that, that 
the ultimate villain, then Will is still connected to the Mind Flayer because he accidentally drew the Mind Flayer when he was just painting a drawing for Will or for Mike. So now, when the three-headed dragon comes to the show, Will's going to be connected to the three-headed dragon. Oh my god, this is so confusing. But this makes so much sense, to be honest with you. Like, it's, it's sort of complex, but it makes a lot of sense. Like, imagine... I don't know. I don't, I don't, how is that going to affect Will? What, if the Mind Flayer makes itself its solid form, and it's just a three-headed dragon, and then like Will's connected to it, I want to... That's gonna be that's gonna be an insane storyline. I want to know what you guys think about this theory, though. If you think it's realistic, if you think this is gonna happen, um, personally, the more I talk about it in this video, this is the first time. This is my first attempt making the video. So the more I talk about it in this video, the more it made even more. The more it made more sense, I think. Uh, and it, this this could be one of the scenarios with my theory. This could also go coincide with my theory because I said that Vecna, I think he is somehow going to, uh, you know, sacrifice himself for Eleven. I think that would be, I think I think that would make a lot of sense, and they would take a lot of inspiration from Star Wars and all the '80s movies. But uh, I didn't know how he could do that. But if the, the Mind Flayer is the ultimate villain, then Vecna would just sacrifice himself to the Mind Flayer to save Eleven. I think that would be a good ending. I think that'd be a very good ending. I don't know yet. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just spitballing at this point, but I think this makes a lot of sense. And uh, although. Like, I, I don't really want to say the Mind Flayer is controlling Vecna, but he's definitely, I don't know. He could be controlling him to an extent, but Vecna, a.k.a. One, was one was still insane in, you know, when he was in the lab. He was still, like, wanting to, he killed everybody, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, maybe I'm totally wrong. He, he did create the Mind Flayer, and this is just a whole entire whatever, because he was evil before he even went to the Upside Down. Uh, but it wouldn't make sense that he got struck by lightning and then has just been controlled by the Mind Flayer ever since. I don't know. Enough talking. Let me know what you guys think about this theory. And um, I'm going to try to come up with more theories, guys. It's been hard to come up with Stranger Things theories every week for the last, like, ten weeks. Uh, but we're here. And I have a few other theories coming out. I want to make a Squid Game one. Uh, I want to make uh, a few Alice in Borderland ones as soon as I finish that show. Um, and I have a few other theories about a few other shows that I want to do. If you guys have any other shows you want me to watch that you want me to make theories about, drop them in the comments below and, uh, or any movies that are coming out. Uh, but there's a lot of shows coming out, guys. We got uh, Alice in the Borderland in December of 2022, this December. Then we have Wednesday, the new Netflix series coming out in, on November 23rd. And we have a lot of shows coming out in 2023, like Outer Banks and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot of shows to be excited for, guys. And I'm going to try to make as many theories as I possibly can. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, spend time with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.